Well, good evening. Today the church celebrates the ministry and life of Augustine of Hippo. An amazing man who, well, we read about him when we train for ministry and all about his life and everything. But a man who did so many interesting things. A man who looked at the scriptures and found things that others hadn't, who wrote sermons, who made a difference and gave us an essay to write. But you know, if you get a chance to read Augustine, take it. He's a very interesting bloke. We pause for a moment and then we will begin. <clears throat> the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so we gather up the remnants of this day, the things that we need to come before the Lord and confess our weaknesses, our failings, our wrongdoings. And as we do this, we look at those who may have wronged us, those we know who have failed and marred the image of God in their lives. And if wounded, we forgive. If frustrated, we pray peace for them and us. And should these people be the people who persistently annoy us, we thank God that he gives us the opportunity to continuously overcome as he continuously shows grace. Hallelujah. And bringing to mind all we have done, we pray. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 4 Answer me when I called, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. 
but you have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, but it is you, Lord, only who makes me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah 30, verse 15 Thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved. In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And as we come to our beds with that prayer, on our minds, our lips and our hearts. We lift to the Lord the burdens of the day, the people, the needs, the places, the things that burden us this night. We pray for loved ones, for family and friends, church members, comrades, colleagues, neighbours, we pray for places where there is discord, where there is conflict, where there is division this night. Lord, I pray for Wendy's mum being taken to hospital today and returned, but obviously not well. Lord, I pray for Derek Pray for so many members of our churches who get older and need a touch. We pray for our young, our children, our grandchildren, maybe even great-grandchildren, brothers and sisters, and for those lucky enough to still have parents, we pray for them. We pray for the Popovs and others in places of conflict that we may know of. We pray for the ministry and work of our churches. And we pray for integrity and good leadership, for honesty and safety for all. And to these thoughts we add our own. We lay down the burdens and praise God that Jesus took up his cross. Mm. 
Lord, I thank you that the strains of Al Benoni, your daddy -o, come through the floor. Lord God, I thank you for music, for the ability to sing and to play. And we pray, merciful Lord, you who turned Augustine from his sins to be a faithful bishop and teacher, God, that we may follow him in penitence and discipline till our restless hearts find their rest in you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And as the words of the Lord's Prayer appear, because I hid it with my elbow, Father God, I thank you this night that in the beginning was the word that creation, God spoke and it came from nothing to be everything. And I leave you with the thought as we've come to the final part of this service. Jeremy Begbie, a man who I was privileged to study under, a jazz musician and a really great guy, said actually, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, each took a note and in that note, one, three, five. A power chord. All creation was. As we pray this Lord's Prayer, may God's Father, Son and Holy Spirit, Godhead, sing over you. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Alleluia. Guys, thank you for being with us. Sleep well. And may tomorrow shall we wake be a day of blessing, a day of love made real in us through the power of the Spirit and the love of our God. Good night. Sleep well.